Hi there, today I'm going to make an eggless apple crumble cake. So to start with, we're going to start with 140 grams of butter and three quarters of a cup of sugar, which I have creamed together. To that, I'm going to add um, two and a half cups of sifted self-raising flour, to which I've added one teaspoon of baking powder, which we're adding just to give it a little bit of lift because we don't have any egg in there. So I'll just add that in. I'm adding two cups of milk. This is a, just a low fat reduced milk. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. We'll just gently give that a bit of a mix, just to combine all the ingredients. And then what we will do, we would put that then onto our mixer and give that a very good mix, get some air into it, and we would do that for three to five minutes to have a nice, fluffy, creamy consistency. I have one here that I've already mixed. So this is our mixture that we've mixed up. Bearing in mind, it, it still comes up creamy consistency, even though it doesn't have any eggs in it. We take our baking paper. This is a very quick recipe. Something that you can make at night for the children. For their lunchbox, we'll pop in our mixture, spread this out into the corners. Now at this stage, we're just gonna take an apple, any, any eating apple that you have in your fridge, as long as you've washed it. No need to peel the apple. We're just gonna grate that apple freshly, just before we need it. Lovely. Let's pop that there. We'll just sprinkle this on top of our cake. This will give it a lovely moist sweetness underneath the crumble. Okay, there we go. Pop that there. Now, into our bowl for our crumble, we've got two tablespoons of margarine, one tablespoon of sugar, four tablespoons of self-raising flour, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And what we'll do with that, you would just rub that through your fingers until you end up with a nice fine crumble. And this is what we have here. This is one that I prepared earlier. What we would do now, just gently sprinkle that crumble all over the apple. You can see it does, even though there's only four tablespoons of flour, it does make quite a little bit of mixture. And that is now ready to pop into the oven on 170 degrees for about 30 minutes until it's firm to the touch. Now this is one that I've made earlier which is still warm, it's just come out of the oven. As you can see, it, it's risen quite well. It's got a lovely top. See the little bits of apple? And what we're going to do with that, just to finish it off, just a little teaspoon of icing sugar. Just give that a fine sprinkle on top. And there we go, eggless apple crumble cake.